Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on uh, equipping and unequipping of the great sword. So here you can see the character equips the great sword like this. And if I press zero, it puts back the sword back to back to where it was. So press one to equip and zero to unequip all right so that's what we are going to work on today and as always we will handle these things through the gameplay ability system so we will create modify all the required gameplay abilities uh, to create this equip unequip behavior and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from the patron page and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so you can watch all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below so yeah let's now get started with today's episode okay so this is what we have worked on so far related to the great sword all i can do is go to this sword and now it's picked up the next step is how to equip and unequip the great sword so first well let me show you what happens if i go here and press one so character does the regular uh, one-handed uh, sword equip animation but it's not picking up the uh, it's not taking the great sword from the back to character's hand so that's what we need to work on okay first let me open this collectible and here when this great sword is collected actually we have this granted abilities but as I remember equip sword and unequip sword I am not really using those granted abilities because we transferred them see there are no references so I transferred them to equip sword ability once the sword is equipped I grant this equip sword and unequip uh, once the sword is collected through this gameplay collect sword ability I grant those abilities there so I don't really need this so let me remove that first now here you can see as this uh, collectible great sword is an inherited child of this collectible sword now that uh, granted abilities array is gone from here okay so here as you can see I grant and I use this ability class GA collect sword and I activate that ability on the character so for the great sword I have created something similar GA collect great sword so this is also a child of GA collect sword because of that we have the collectible actor class as bp great sword which is this this is the sword that is attached to the back of the character and then we have this granted abilities ga equip unequip stun attack take down these abilities uh, but for now we might not need these two for the great sword but i leave them as it is but we need to change this equip and unequip because this equip sword let me open it and see what's inside so this what this actually does is it does give some abilities attack sword ability lock on lock off soft lock and ga lock off abilities these are relevant for the combat but for now we are only focusing on equip part and here we pass the weapon as sword so let me promote this to a variable as weapon 
so that I can change this when I create a subclass from this equip sword class equip sword ability right so let's go here and let's create a child blueprint GA I'll call it equip great sword okay now what do we need to change so first thing is instead of sword we need to use great sword now that means this will pass to this equip weapon interface function we will pass great sword instead of sword when we activate this ga equip great sword uh, ability and we need to use that here instead of g equip sword ga equip great sword okay so that and now let's take a look at this equip weapon it should be implemented in the character yeah here in the third person character base class so here you can see we play the anim montage here we play sword and shield anim montage because that's the only animation montage i require first so now that we are having a great sword also let's let me first yeah this is the montage selected here now do a select node using this weapon type i think you need more in, more space here right now unarmed but uh, that's for sword and armor unarmed state i'll use this uh wait for unarmed we don't really need anything and for the shield also i'll use the same and for the great sword now we need to create a montage so here i have already imported this great sword idle equip this animation so this is imported from this uh, ramsters great sword anims pack so i have a collaboration with them so that i can use these animations in my project i leave the link to this uh, this asset in the description so yeah now this is actually these animations are in unreal engine 4 mannequin i have retargeted them into unreal engine 5 mannequin here because I changed the animation I think all right now let's test it out okay press one yeah it is playing the animation but the sword is not picked up so why is that here oh we have this weapon now that's what we pick up so let's set find references and set weapon R. all right when we collect weapon we only set weapon R for sword so for the great sword also I'll set the weapon R variable with the weapon given now we should be able to pick it up let's see okay it did and now if I press 1 you can see the character did pick up but you may yeah but you may have noticed this the weapon becomes slightly bigger when it is in the hand that's because this let me show here we have this 
socket back upper the relative scale is 0.8 and we attach this to what to hand r socket so hand r scale is 1 so that's why it becomes a little bigger so if you don't want that I have kept it that way because I need to make the weapon a bit smaller when it is in the back of the character but if you don't need that you can change the scale of the back socket to 1 1 1 right now it can equip one more thing. Okay, and it goes to this animation which does not really match to the great sword. So, here, if I go to the character animation blueprint, and you can see under locomotion we have idle and walk and run. In the idle, we have this default pose mm idle and the sword pose and here we can now add great sword pose because we have added great sword to this weapon and here we could use we can use this great sword idle on shoulder animation Best animation blueprint here like this okay right now it's here but still if you try to move you see the animation does not match that's because here let me go back if I go to the walk and run, here we have sword pose and default pose. Here also we can add great sword and we would need a separate animation blend space for the great sword as well. And I haven't created that yet, so so I'll leave it like this for now. In the next episode we will address that now for the unequipped part so actually if i check this we grant equip sword and unequip sword so equip great sword and unequip sword if i check the unequip sword all it does is unequip call unequip weapon on the character and activate lock off ability and change these tags so first thing is we need to check this unequipped weapon so here we have that yeah unequipped weapon so just like here we are before we do this change it only plays this sword and shield unequipped animation so we can do something like this let's first yeah here weapon R let me change this and move here it is valid it should go here if it is not valid the current path is fine it checks the next weapon okay now let's get some space here we can again this is the 
animation montage that we already have so then shield ideal and equip let's do a select this is again should be based on get weapon type weapon type of the weapon R now if the weapon type is sword we need to use that and for the shield also that uh, for the great sword now let's see great sword here we have great sword unequip let's create an montage and slot upper body and let's use it okay now visually this should work oh wait not yet also we need to change the attached socket so let me copy the existing name and select the socket name based on again the weapon type for the sword this and for the shield for the great sword well shield will not come as the right weapon but in future if it does it should go to this weapon and for the great sword again what's the name of the socket this one socket back up okay let's test now all right press one to equip it's equipped press zero to unequip yeah that's how it works but mm, we need to change these tags here for example this gameplay effect class that is applied when the character equip the great sword this is still ge collect sword which uh, which is the gameplay effect i have already used for the regular sword so it applies this weapons dot sword tag and not just here also when we equip the great sword we are still uh, have this equip sword gameplay effect and also we have defined these ability tags as uh, required tags weapons dot sword and block tag weapons sword equipped so these things are still working because i have kept the original tags of the parent classes but we might need to change these into perhaps instead of weapons dot sword weapons dot great sword and weapons dot sword dot equipped weapons dot great sword dot equipped we might need to change it to like that but for now i'll leave it here and as the need arises i will change i will make those changes in upcoming episodes and i think that's enough for this episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode also feel free to let me know your thoughts on this uh, tutorial so yeah we'll see you in the next one goodbye